What's up guys, hey Anthony here, good morning. Uh, welcome to the first of many weekly e-bike news roundup, uh, where we're gonna discuss new releases, rumors, and reports on the latest happenings in the e-bike industry. Uh, now this is the first of many, so bear with us as we work out any of the kinks, but we think this is gonna be exciting and we'd love to hear from you uh, and to have you participate with any feedback or rumors that you might be hearing, some new developments. Uh, so comment below and we'll have all the links that we uh, are talking about in the description below. All right, let's jump into it. First, uh, coming from the Big Apple, we have a Brooklyn-based startup. It's called Clip. Uh, it's a clip-on device that makes any bike an e-bike, and it's awesome. Uh, it's compact uh, for what it offers, definitely small enough to bring inside of a coffee shop uh, or into the office with you. It only weighs seven pounds. It has a reported range of 10 to 15 miles uh, and an impressive recharge time of only 40 minutes, which is pretty quick for a full charge. The current design is supposed to work on hybrid and road bikes, so we're not really sure if it's gonna fit your mountain bike, if that's what you ride, but we'll have to wait and see. Now these clip-on devices are advertised to work with rideshare bikes like City Bike, which uh, is super cool if you're looking for an even faster way to get around town in a city commute. Uh, if you live in a rainier climate, they're also releasing a new waterproof edition, so it should be able to hold up in different weather conditions. So coming in at $400, this ready, out of the box, no tools necessary device seems like a win to us. With that said, it may have some obvious potential drawbacks. It may not be for everyone, but we're excited to get our hands on one of these and test it in multiple environments. Second up is the well-known e-bike company Saunders. Um, it's expected to announce a new electric motorcycle in just two days, January 14th on Facebook live stream. It's a new electric motorcycle and we're pumped. They make beautiful and awesome bikes. How this is going to work regarding licensing, registration, etc., is, is really yet to be heard. Uh, but it's still an exciting move. And given the upcoming release of their sick looking mad mods, this company has clearly been busy. So we're looking forward to reporting more on this next week when they announce all the details in their live stream. Third, coming up from Belgium, not only are they making awesome chocolate, but we have the Haven. Now, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, H-A-V-N. Maybe in Belgium they, they do something different, but it's made by Street Waves. It's a new proposed way, not only of locking up your bike, but charging it at the same time. Uh, and free, easily accessible charging station are one of our 2021 e-bike dreams. Now these 14.5 gallon stainless cubes will be bolted to the cement around town, uh, but also house the components to charge your bike. So it's a lockup and a charging station spread throughout the city. And honestly, it's a simple idea that's incredibly practical and has a lot of potential. Now to me, I think this looks like a commercial grade trash can, but I'd be happy to lock up my bike to this beautiful trash can and charge it any day. Coming in at number four, we have a four wheel bike that uh, promises safety, security, and the ability to haul a couple kids around through uh, a bunch of different weather conditions. Uh, it looks like a smart car and a mobility scooter had a child, but it really could be a rad solution for city mobility. Uh, it only weighs around 150 pounds, which honestly isn't that much heavier than some of the scramblers we own and some different moped style e-bikes out there. So. Um, as expected, it comes out of Europe and it's meant to fit their regulations. The driver has to pedal. The motors are limited to 250 watts apiece. The top speed is 15 miles per hour, but it has a range of 45 to 60 miles. According to the founder, Morton Reining, uh, their goal is to combine an e-bike with the comfort and technology of a car. And it claims to have a cruise control, regenerative braking design, and an app that allows you to lock, unlock, track and someday rent a car like uh, lime scooters or bird scooters some application like that where you can pick up rent and go and drop them off in addition to a seat behind the driver there's also space for cargo as well and all i can say is send us one uh, we want to cruise around the streets of downtown la and rep the city queue for everyone to see uh, it will be fun to watch this company as they progress we think this is definitely innovative and also from a disability standpoint it might be a nice way to carry a rider behind you 
um, who might have unique needs, who might not be able to fully operate um, any type of vehicle independently. So we think this is really cool. Well, that's it for this week's roundup. We're looking forward to hearing what you guys think. Uh, let us know in the comments below if we should cover something specific uh, next week, maybe that we haven't heard about. So until next time, get out there, ride your bikes, have some fun, and stay tuned. Please like and subscribe as we continue to discuss the latest products in gear.